Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Simon here. We're here with another reaction video today. I'm super excited for this one. This is the next on the list of Ballon d'Or winners. So far, we've done Ronaldinho, Alan Simonson, and yesterday, George Best. I thought that was a hell of a video. I had a shit ton of fun making that, editing it, just everything about it. If you want to check those videos out, they're up on the channel now. Today, we're going to be reacting to Andre Shevchenko. Shevchenko, not really here to say his last name. Obviously, Ukrainian striker. Played for Chelsea, Milan, maybe Real Madrid if I remember correctly. I might be wrong on that one. But anyway, uh, today's video is a bit longer. It's 13 minutes long, so don't want to like dilly daddle here. Just want to hop straight into it. This video is from Matty Gold Vids. Uh, the link will be in the description below if you want to watch the original video yourself. And uh, yeah, this is 13 minutes long. Super excited for this. Uh, as I am usually with all these videos, they're super fun. But uh, anyway, let's get into it. There he is up Milan. There's Gattuso. Oh, I got the England jersey on. England playing the Euros in about six hours. I'm up pretty late recording this. But yeah, let's see what this guy's got. Never actually watched Shevchenko play. I've read a lot about him, but I've never actually seen footage of him. Or not very much. My, my understanding is he was kind of like the complete striker. He didn't lack anything. He wasn't abnormally small. He was strong. Obviously, hell of a goal scorer. He was fast. He could dribble. He kind of could do it all. He can head, obviously. This looks like it's against Juventus. Jesus. Lobs it over the keeper from that far. Another header. And lightning quick. Another header, <laughs> a free kick. Uh, this guy can do it all. Look how fast he is, man. That guy's got some lightning pace about him. Another great finish. Diving header. Oh my days. My man's out here just outrunning everybody. He's got to be fouled to take him out. I do want to pause here really quickly because it's just bothering me and I can't remember what teams the guy played for. Sound really stupid. So, okay, he never played for Madrid. I'm an idiot. He played for Dynamo Kiev, Milan, Chelsea, and then went back to Dynamo Kiev. He was also manager of Ukraine for a long time. That's interesting. Anyway, let's resume. Penalty, yeah. Seen everything. We've seen chips outside the box. We've seen fast pace. We've seen him hold players off. We've seen hands, free kicks. Seen everything from this guy. Absolutely everything. Ooh, a music change. I like that.
It's like another intro, like a second montage. What a finish. Is he a lefty? It's on his left foot. And that's on his right. So I suppose not a one-footed player. There's Dita. What a guy. Brazilian goalkeeper. I love Milan teams in the past, man. Just in general. So many cool players that play for that club. Not all that long ago as well. There's Pirlo. Another header. It looks like Yap Stam. Goal for oh, wow. Another free kick. Keeper is just standing there. When the keeper doesn't even react, you know, it's just a hell of a shot. Top bins. Another header. This guy was good in the air. Jeez, what a fucking finish that is. That as well. Holy shit. Is every goal this guy scored for Chelsea just ridiculous? I think like age and injury kind of caught up with him at Chelsea. At least that was the impression I was under. But scored some top notch goals. Jesus. He loves that shot, doesn't he? The footwork. Brilliant as well. He runs in a really interesting fashion. I'm not totally sure on his height, but it seems like he's kind of he's trying to give himself like a low center of gravity. I suppose all players do, but he's just got like a different running stance to him. Very unique. She looks like he's falling. Like as as he runs before before he takes all these shots. He just he looks like he's about to stumble, but he's not. He's just gunning it. There's a volley, wow. Again, man. It's like they're all like far post bangers to the top corner. Or dinks. Is that chest control right there? That was dope. Wow. Oh. A free kick. Look at the like the the curvature on that. Nice little near post banger. So Shevchenko won the Ballon d'Or in 2006. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already or not. There he is with a little panenka. Oh my god. It's a bullet, man. Bullet of a header. Absolute rocket of a shot there as well. There too. <laughs> Another chip. The guy does a roulette. Yeah, he's got everything. He's got flair about him, pace about him. He can head. He can do all kinds of set pieces. There's another one. He can chip it, he's fast. This guy is a complete striker. I mean, what's the one thing we haven't seen in here? A bicycle kick? He's done just about everything else a striker can do. And that being said, I'm sure he's scored one somewhere, someday. Maybe we have yet to see one in here. This video's got a decent amount of time left, about four minutes.
so political. He's got like four or five guys around him. Oh my god. The hell of a free kick taker apparently, huh? Does it chip him? No, he doesn't. Wow. Kind of hits it straight at him there. You can probably get 10 minutes of this guy scoring headers. <laughs> I mean, look at this. You guys can see my cursor moving to the music. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. So yeah, like I said, won the Ballon d'Or in 2006. So, uh, I was young. I was alive, but I was young. Before I really followed the sport. Look at the, just look at that dribbling, man. Pass two, in between a third. There, that, that's not a bicycle kick, but it's a similar motion. With like one leg. How many headers does this guy score, man? I'm curious how tall he was. I'll go back and check it after the video. Although sometimes shorter players are still very good in the air. You can jump and you're accurate. They'll do that all day. Wow. What a goal that was. The build up and the shot. I mean, look at the keeper. The keepers are just... Grasping at straws in the air. Wow. This music's a vibe too. Very intense. Speaks to the player he was. That's just a, a worldy man. Like, that, that's a very good goal. A lot of these goals are are good. Like that, again, a good goal. But some of these are just out of this world. Like, look at, look at, look at how high the ball goes. No one is saving that. Absolutely no one. Oh, wow. I love those Milan kits, man. Maybe I'll have to buy myself a Shevchenko Milan jersey. It seems to me, based off this footage, he was definitely a lefty. But like I said, I was unsure of that going into this video. Most of the goals seem to be on his left foot. Although we've seen some amazing goals with both feet. And his head. There's another one. <laughs> it's a cool celebration. Wow, the short hair and the long hair, that's an interesting contrast. Is that Dynamo Kiev jersey? Wow, that was freaking awesome. What a highlight reel that was. 510,000 views, deservedly so. Deserves more. But yeah, guys, uh, Matty Golvids, link to his video will be down in the description below if you want to check this out for yourself. Credit to Matty Go for creating this wonderful montage. And uh, thank you for anybody who made it to this part of the video. I got nothing else really to say. This was a longer one. This video is probably going to be around 
15 minutes long, maybe more. So thank you so much for your time if you made it to this point. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. If you did enjoy this type of content, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, comment, share the video, do whatever you gotta do. And also check me out on Twitch. I stream like five, six days a week now. I've been killing it over there. Anyway, that's it. Peace. Thanks for watching.